So how do we make a sticky toffee pudding that's vegan? So I'm using some sticky medjool dates. These dates are lovely and jammy and that's what's gonna make this sticky toffee pudding work really well. So I'm gonna pit the dates, so just take out the stone in the middle using a knife and then chop up all the flesh. So you've got your sticky dates that are all chopped up, so you're gonna sprinkle over some bicarb and then top it up with some boiling water. So let this sit for about 10 minutes for it to kind of break down the dates and make them lovely and soft. So once the dates are resting in the boiling water, I'm gonna start making the cake. You will need some sunflower oil, and with that you'll need some dark brown sugar. I've used almond milk, or you can use oat milk, that's fine. So the next special ingredient that we need to use is treacle, which is really important in a sticky toffee pudding. It gives it that dark caramel flavor. It's rich and very sticky, almost too sticky to get off the spoon, but you'll get there. So once we've added our treacle in, we're gonna add in all those dates that have been soaked, including that draining water as well. Pop everything into a blender until it's lovely and smooth. And then for the dry ingredients, we're gonna do flour, just normal plain flour, with some baking powder in there as well. You can add a bit of cinnamon or ground ginger here if you want. Then combine the wet and the dry ingredients together and mix really well. So try not to overbeat it too much. We kind of want the sponge to be lovely and soft still, but just until all the lumps have been mixed through. Pop it into a baking tray that's been greased and lined and then cook it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Then you want to check it and skewer it inside the cake to check that it's cooked throughout. It'll be lovely and springy when it comes out of the oven. So while the cake is still hot, what you wanna do is you wanna make your sauce. So this is sticky toffee pudding sauce, which you need to pour all over the cake. So I've got treacle again, I've got light brown sugar and vegan butter. So let that melt really gently on a low simmer on the pan. Stir it frequently to check that everything is melting together. So I'm gonna add some cream into this mixture when it's melted. So I've used Elmia, which is a double cream and it's plant-based as well. So I add some vanilla essence into that. And once everything's melted, then you want to add in your cream slowly. So when you add your cream in, keep mixing gently and then bring it up into a simmer. So we don't want everything to get too hot and boiling, so just take it off the heat when it's come up to a gentle simmer. And that is our toffee sauce done. So all we need to do is pour a little bit of that over our cake so it soaks up that syrupy flavor. Now sticky toffee pudding is really good to eat warm. So what I do, I would suggest put it in the oven for a few minutes or so until everything's warm through. I've kept some toffee sauce aside for serving and then this is best served with probably ice cream or something kind of cool.